This is what sprint car racing looks like under the lights. And the car with the pink and gray, the 15V, this is, the is being driven by Cole Vanderheiden. Uh, the main part's in there. Cole, who's nicknamed both Cole Train and Choo Choo, is just a sophomore in high school, 15 years old. Why did you decide you wanted to get into that? Oh, my dad raced a sprint car uh, several years ago and then took a break and then got back in it. 2019. Oh, I started driving the uh, the go kart back in 2019, 2020, and then after a year of go karts, uh, went to a micro sprint. From there, he followed his dad's tread marks to sprint cars, where in his first season in 50 races, Cole won two of them, had seven top fives and 26 top tens. It was pretty surreal. I couldn't. Uh... I've never been able to understand how he's went as fast as he has over the last couple of years. We practiced this year in, in, at Eagle Raceway on the practice day. It was the first time he hit the track and um, I, along with many others, couldn't believe how fast he was going. So it's a pretty good feeling to see him pick it up that fast. We had like nine weekends where we did three days of racing in a row. So pretty fast, crazy. Along with the racing, a lot of work goes into maintaining the car before and after the race. Putting together and cleaning and re-cleaning every, after every race and making sure everything's smooth and tight so you don't, so nothing falls apart or falls off. As you can probably tell, this is an expensive hobby. It's gonna rank right up there as the most expensive sport around. Even, I mean, my daughter does competitive cheer, so that's another big expensive sport. Um, but this is something that racing is something he can do for the rest of his life. It's something our whole family enjoys. I want him to be successful and want him to be as fast as he can with the best equipment he has and the safest. So um, you spend the extra money to make it safe and make sure he can be competitive. For example, Cole's car has both a halo bar on top above his head and a bar under his seat with a special system designed to spare his back. This bar here is sitting on foam pucks. So if he was to get in a really bad wreck, the frame would actually the seat goes solid, solid down, but the, the pucks compress. And this is a used puck. So after a couple nights of racing, they get compressed. So they like to say that this absorbed the shock on his back versus solid, if it was solid. Cole's next step after a couple more seasons of this is the World of Outlaws series. It's probably, it's my, my dream to race in that weekly and uh, be pretty good at it. That's the, the NASCAR of dirt is what the World of Outlaws is. Well, right now, I, I'd like to push them as far as I can, but we'll see. We got a lot more sponsors this year than we did last year, and it's the goal. I'd have to continue to double the amount of sponsors that we're getting each year to continue to push them up. For Papillion Now, I'm Michael Severe.